Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to edit an image in a PDF directly from within Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I have a couple different um, JPEGs here. I have a couple different PDF files. I'm going to start with this simple layout. And it is just a simple layout. It's this text on the top and the bottom. And then I have this photo right here. So let's say that we need to move the photo around a little bit. I don't, I don't like how it's placed on the left-hand side. I want to center it up a little bit. So I'm going to go into my tools here, and I'm going to go to Edit PDF, and I'm going to select the image itself. And now I can just go ahead and I can move it around however I want. So let's just say I want to center it up right there. That looks a little bit better. Great. I can also take the handles here and I can expand the image or I can contract the image and maintain the aspect ratio. I can also click on the top and the bottom handles here to stretch the image or shrink the image vertically. And same thing here, I can do it horizontally. Let me just undo this and go back to the beginning. I can also click on this crop image and this will maintain the image itself but it will just basically crop it out to a smaller amount essentially you're just changing this uh, uh, frame that it that the image is in so I can do that or I can click on it and um, click off and back I can click and delete it remove it completely from the PDF Let me just undo this go back to start or I can uh, rotate here, I can rotate around uh, 90 degrees, or if I want to rotate specifically to a, a different degree, I can click up here and I can rotate this around however I want. You'll see the little degrees pop up here. And the last thing I can do is I can replace this image. So if I come here and click replace image, I can choose a different photo on my hard drive and you can see here it's been replaced however I will uh, you will have to note that it does not keep the same aspect ratio as your original image so if I click undo here you can see this original image was a little bit taller than the image that we insert in here so I will have to either do some additional manipulation and move this around um, or use a different photo so that's it for uh, simple photos or simple layouts like this, not much to it. When you're ready to go, you just click uh, close here and then just hit save and this will um, save your PDF and then you're ready to send it off. But what if we have a layout maybe that's a little bit more complex or maybe when we want to do some more advanced editing to our original photo. So let me close this out and open up my other PDF here and I'll show you that process. So I have three photos here on the right hand side and let's say I want to replace this bottom image just like I did in the first PDF. So I go to edit PDF, I'm going to click this here, I'm going to go to replace image and I'm going to replace it with my other picture that I had here. And now my layout is all messed up because I have this extra white space here and it doesn't bleed off the page anymore it didn't maintain the same aspect ratio and now my layout looks all janky so I'm gonna undo this and I'll show you a more advanced way of dealing with something like that but first before you you proceed you have to make sure that your ed or, uh, image editing software is properly properly linked to Adobe Acrobat and the way we do that is we come up to Acrobat menu here and click on preferences and you'll go down to content editing here and you'll notice there's two options here at the top where it says default editors for edit object tool this is going to be for images and this is going to be for like basically vector or text uh, objects that are on the page so I have mine linked to Adobe Photoshop 2025 for images and I have it linked to Adobe Illustrator for any page slash objects. If you want to use a third party imaging um, edit, editing software, you certainly can. I don't know if you're going to get the same kind of results as what you're going to see in the rest of the video, but um, I know for me, since I work with the Adobe Suite fairly often, it's just easier for me to use Photoshop. So, anyway, once you have those two set up, you can go ahead and hit OK. 
And now I'm going to go into print production here and I'm going to click the edit object tool. I'm going to click on the picture that we want to make the edit to and I'm going to right click and just come down here to edit image. It's going to give you a warning, especially if you have any transparency or anything like that. You just I'm just going to click through them, hit OK. Same thing in Photoshop, just going to click OK. And now you can see here the full image itself has been opened in Photoshop. If I click back on my PDF, you can notice here that part of this side has been cropped out. This has the full image itself. So now what we want to do is we want to replace this image with the other light bulb image. So I'm going to go up to File, hit Open. I will click on my other light bulb JPEG here. And I'm just going to use the Move tool. I'm going to slide this over to my original photo here. And you'll notice here, obviously, the aspect ratio is a little bit different than the original photo itself. So I'm just going to use the free transform tool here. And I'm going to expand this out. Fill up the original pasteboard, essentially. And I'll just right click off, or just click off of that. It's brought it in here as a new layer, but it doesn't really matter. And all I'm going to do is just go to File and hit Save. I'm not going to save as, I'm just going to hit save. And the reason why is you can see this long drawn out number here for this .pdf. And basically what Acrobat has done is essentially just made like a snippet of whatever that original photo was, sent it over to Photoshop so we can do our edits. And then when you hit save, it's just going to send it right back into your original uh, PDF in Acrobat. So I'm going to close this out here. I'll close this one, don't need that. I'm just going to minimize this. And back in Acrobat here, you can see the photo has been replaced. But not only has it been replaced, but it maintains the same um, rotation. It means, maintains the same aspect ratio. I don't have extra white space around like I did using the Edit PDF menu. So this is basically good to go. And quickly, I'm going to save this as underscore edited and now this is ready to send off uh, this always gives me this error here let's go back to my let me reopen it sometimes it does that to me there we go okay so this is ready to send off to print or to distribute online however you want to do it um, but let's say we want to go ahead and we want to make some additional edits to these photos here uh, for whatever reason let's say to keep maintain branding standards uh, the big boss has said hey you gotta make sure that these hard hats are orange because we only use orange hard hats so we need to change these out you know if you had the original layout in InDesign that would be easy to do you just go grab the original photo make your changes and then you update your uh, photos in InDesign and boom you're ready to go same thing with Illustrator but let's say we don't have the original um, Illustrator or InDesign files. I, I can open this in Illustrator, but let maybe the fonts are going to blow up on me or something like that. All I want to do is just make edits to these two photos. So I'm going to basically do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to go to my print production, click on my edit object. I'll click on my first one here. I'll right click and go edit image. And I'll just go through these warnings again, say OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my quick selection tool and I'm just going to select this hard hat. I'm going to change the um, color balance a little bit and just make this look more orange. So that's pretty good. I'll hit OK. And again, I'm just hitting save. I'm not hitting save as. And when I go back to Acrobat, now my photo has that nice orange helmet. And I'm going to do the same thing for this other one here. Same process, just use my quick selection here. Select his hard hat. I did a bad job of that. Yeah, good enough, whatever. So now I'm just going to go to my color balance here. And same thing, I'm just going to change these out to make it look a little bit more orange. That's fine. For this example, it's fine. Same thing, I'm going to hit save. Close this out. I'll go back to my original... Uh, file in Acrobat. I'll just hit save one more time. It's going to save the photo or save the file with these photo changes and now it's ready to send off to press. So there's two different ways of editing 
photos directly from within Adobe Acrobat. The first one, obviously, you don't need to leave the program, but it just gives you limited functionality. You can only change the sizing or the um, cropping photos out. Here, it actually allows you to take it into a third-party software and do additional um, modifications to that image. And it makes sure to maintain the setup with your layout in Acrobat itself. So it doesn't really affect any other part of the actual PDF file. It's just changing out those image uh, images or it's making those whatever edits you did to those images and then just saving them directly back in. Uh, the one caveat, again, is to make sure that when you save in Photoshop, you just do save. You don't do save as because otherwise it'll prompt you to save it somewhere else on your computer and it won't work. It won't come back into photo or uh, Acrobat from Photoshop properly. So anyway, that's it for the video. A couple different ways to do it. Hopefully it helps somebody out, especially if you have to do any kind of uh, color manipulation with your photos. This is going to be especially helpful for those folks that maybe you send a, a, a PDF off to print and maybe the color balance of the photos itself, maybe your flesh tones are not looking so good and you want to basically, maybe you want to take some of the magenta out of the photo, but you don't want to do it universally with all the other elements on your PDF file. You can go ahead and take that into Photoshop and let's say you, um, his skin tone is way too... Um, way too red looking you can drop some of the magenta out of the original file and make changes and then send it back and try your print again if you have questions please leave them down in the comments section below obviously if you've stayed to this point of the video you find these videos uh, interesting so please give a, um, a like and um, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't it doesn't cost anything it helps me out helps with the algorithm um, if you want to help out a little bit more, you can always check out the Patreon page. That's linked down in the description below. Otherwise, I appreciate the view. Questions, leave them down below. I'm happy to answer. And until the next one, have a good one.